What's going on, y'all? So. <laughs> oh, my hair. <laughs> and it's all because of the fucking Carters. It's all because of this goddamn on the run tour that my voice is going in and out. That my throat is on fucking fire. That I'm drunk still at 2.41 in the morning and I can't go to sleep because my adrenaline is up. Bitch, my drunk been home for an hour. Uh, I'm just like, my spirit <laughs> and my soul has been touched and my spirit and everything is so full right now. I am just, oh. Uh, like really <laughs> I, I really understand now especially this being my third time seeing my second time seeing Jay my third time seeing um Beyonce and, and you know in concert I, I truly understand now why y'all stand so hard for this family like, I, I, I fucking get it okay I ain't gonna say I'm a stand hell the fuck now nah, I ain't no goddamn stand because bitch no some of y'all do some crazy ass shit yeah I may go off on them and go off about them but bitch, that's because, you know, I be excited and it's only when shit coming up and bitch, this tour was coming up. So bitch, I was excited. So therefore, I'm going to talk about it. I'm going to talk about it. And I'm going to go off because I know they're not going to fucking disappoint me. But some of y'all go above and fucking beyond. All right. Because, okay. So this on the run tour, if you have not seen it yet, if it is coming to your city next, you haven't gotten a ticket, you need to get a ticket. And you need to go. I don't give a fuck where you sitting at. Because, bitch, they got screens. Screens big enough for everybody to fucking see. And let me just tell you, you will enjoy it. When I tell you, everybody want to say people be slaying and shit. Fuck that. Slaying is getting so overused. Fuck that. Beyonce and Jay-Z came out there and said, let me trample the fuck over this slay shit. Fuck slay, bitch. I am about to fucking annihilate. They trampled over Slay, broke that bitch up into pieces, tried to get one to a little piece to blue and say, hey, do you want to play with this? She said, bitch, no. And then they just went on out there and fucking annihilated this shit. Like, annihilated the goddamn stage. Y'all just don't understand. You know, and I was hearing reports about it, and people were saying all this nice stuff, and I was like, mm, you know, y'all stands or whatever, so y'all gonna go up anyway. But, bitch, y'all wasn't lying. Y'all was not lying. Y'all wasn't playing either. I get there. We was with Courtney. First of all, they was downtown, and I missed them by, like, 30, 40 minutes. I literally was stepped in my house. And a few minutes after I stepped in the house, mind you, from being down there, oh, the car is downtown. I said, ain't that some shit with blue? Y'all know me and blue got kindred spirits because, you know, it's a Capricorn thing. We born on the same day, all right? And the personality is there because that bitch will, oh, I don't want to call them, no, kids ain't no bitches or nothing. But y'all get what I'm saying? That little girl and her attitude, I can already see it because, you know, I understand it. I really do. And then Mama Tina and Capricorn too, look, bitch, we get it. I get it, you know. I'm there. And I just wanted to be there and be like, hey, girl, hey, man. You know, bitch, I know you be trolling YouTube. You ain't got shit else to do when you on that goddamn play. Why you putting little girl to sleep? You be on YouTube trolling. I know you seen one of us somewhere. Bitch, Devin was down there, of course. I knew of all people, I knew Devin ass was going to be down there. I knew he was going to see her. It had the nerve to say, bitch, when she came out, <laughs> one of them times... <laughs> I think it was the second time he was trying to get a goddamn picture. And Julius ass, bitch, Julius ass told him to shut his ass up. He was like, uh-uh, be quiet. I was like, damn, Julius, Julius take his job. Fucking serious. Get that man some pussy because he is tightly wound. Like, when he be on the screen, he just look like he finna fuck anybody up who gets a little bit too close. When he at that show, and you y'all y'all know what part I'm talking about when they walking through and they finna go to the other stage together to sing uh Forever Young and and watch the movie with us, bitch. Give him something because <laughs> he needs he look like he needs some release. 
tired of working for these motherfuckers. I always got to be on the road with them. Bitch, what about me? What about my needs? That's what he looked like. That's what it looked like just going on in his head. But um, and the tour in itself was great. My experience getting there this time, we got there perfectly fine. No traffic like that. Because um, we probably got there like around 5. And we waited till like um, 5, 30, 5, 45 or whatever to get out. Go to the uh, go to Soldier Field right across the street with a, from the parking, parking lot. And, you know, the vendors was out there, of course. I got the tour book, the on-the-run tour book, of course. Um, the ski mask. And the hat that says on the road, mind you, Jay Z was wearing one of these and doing the show. And I was like, oh shit, we got the same shit on. <laughs> Did you buy yours from outside too? Or did you get your shit for free? But one of the persons at the uh, actual who worked at the fucking stadium gonna say something, what does this shit say? And then I was like, bitch, I don't know what this shit say. He was like, hmm, on the run. And I was like, wait a minute, that's what this shit said? It is like fucking hieroglyphic, you know, sans serif print. Bitch, look, when people are intoxicated, we don't understand what this shit is. Put, this look like calligraphy and all this stuff, okay? Put this shit in Times New Roman font or Arial, you know, so we can understand what this shit is saying right off the goddamn back. Quit trying to be fucking fancy, all right? Stop it. Sometimes us simple people just need some simple ass shit, all right? You be doing shit that's above our head. And that shit went right above my head. It took somebody that worked at the stadium to tell me that that shit said on the run. And I said, well, bitch, it makes sense. Ain't the tour called on the run? Okay. And I got the bandana on the run. Y'all know that's what I really wanted. But, um, yeah. So, we was waiting up in there. I will tell you this. And then, you know, I got Beyonce right here. Yeah, Jay-Z on the other side. It's cute. Um, I will tell you this. If your ticket says that, let's say, if your stadium or wherever you go, and they say that the shit opens up at 6 o'clock, yeah, try to come early or, you know, come within that hour of it first opening so you can avoid a lot of traffic and stuff. And if you want to go get something to eat and get merchandise, you can have time to get that and go take a piss and all that shit. Um, if the tickets say, you know, it's going to start at like 8 o'clock or whatever, lies. Don't pay no attention to that. That's probably when the door's going to close when people get in there. But I doubt it. But still, last, it's not going to start at that time that's on, on that ticket. Imagine, they're going to send me an email talking about some, the, do, it, the show starts promptly at 8. I said, bitch, no, it don't. It starts when the sun goes down completely. That's when it starts, okay? Um, because we started probably damn near 10 o'clock or at 10 o'clock. And I know it didn't. It didn't end till what? It didn't end until after twelve, if that. It was like a good two hours or so. A good two hour, fifteen minute show, whatever. The fuck. It was. It was, and it was well worth it. Uh, what else? We was out there, bitch. When you go to the show, you got a fucking plan. Now see, this is this is how come <laughs> we gonna have to coordinate this shit better. If you're going to come to the show, we're going to have to buy tickets at the same damn time so we could be in the same damn session because y'all know I won't be courting. And her ass was, we all on the floor, but I'm in A2, and that's all the way at the front. And she on the field in the back. So we like, damn, how we going to do this? Because they had security and all the shit, you know, checking the um tickets and everything. And I was like, well, when it's a big crowd and everybody coming, you just slide up in there. So we talking, we meeting people. Shout out to everybody that I met. And I met quite a few people, took some pictures um, from that, that follow me on YouTube. Shout out to Aaron, shout out to Cece, shout out to, oh my God, oh my God, I can't remember your name. I don't even know if you told me your name, but bitch, I'm drunk, so don't blame me. You know, little white boy, that's what you were when we were standing over there talking to Devin. Shout out to Devin and his friend. Uh, if you... If you know who I'm talking about, please leave a comment and tell me what your name is. And I truly do apologize. They taking pictures and everything. Look, I was just, the atmosphere, I couldn't even be like standoffish because the atmosphere was just, it was love in the air. Okay. Everybody was just 
friendly from what I was seeing. Nobody had an attitude yet. It was just, it was just, it was just really nice because sometimes when you go to certain concerts, you know, at certain concerts, you're going to get at least two fights. Okay. At least two. Somebody going, something going to almost pop off, but that has not happened yet. Well, not at the beginning of this shit. So, <laughs> while I, you know, I go to the bathroom, we come back, me and Courtney up there talking, we still trying to plan, and we're like, bitch, as soon as the light goes out, just go ahead and run up there. While we talking, and let me tell you something, security at Soldier Field was tight as fuck for a minute, okay? We standing here talking, we looking, I'm waiting, oh, you can't stand here, you can't stand here, you gotta keep it moving, well, bitch, where the fuck can we stand there if we can't stand here? I got so tired of hearing that shit, like, who, y'all taking y'all job a little bit too serious, okay? Let us just mingle, all right? Let us just mingle. We're not hurting anybody. But all of a sudden, the lights go out. <laughs> I go to my seat, bitch. I'm trying to bucket to my goddamn seat. And it was a lot of people. We all trying to get up there to our seat. But, <laughs> you know, when they do it, the lights go out. And then the screen come up. Because when you first get there, on the screen it says, this is not real life. And then all of a sudden, the screen comes up. And, and, and the opening sequence, you know happens and then a j plus b comes on there mind you i was like it's a big crowd so i'm thinking courtney behind me and at one point i'm gonna be honest i said fuck courtney let me get to my seat <laughs> i really did i really i said girl i mean you oh you shit out of luck if you ain't up here you on your own but fortunately she was able to make it up there and let me just tell you this by the time the show started it didn't even matter that we brought a ticket up to the front or whatever where we brought our ticket at on that field because everybody rushed to the front anyway. And if you were sitting in a certain seat, you literally got pushed up automatically. It was like they should have just made it a general mission standing room, you know, up there because that's how it was. No one was sitting down. And I was so glad that I had a live ass section because everybody was up on their feet. Everybody was singing the words. Everybody was dancing. You know, we was having a bomb ass fucking time. Okay. The love and everything was fucking there for the moment. And Jay-Z and them come out. Jay-Z and Beyonce come out and she got the little fishnet thing on her face. I say, yes, like this bitch is just, <sighs> she is gorgeous, okay? I, and I don't call people gorgeous. Like she is just, you know, and that's that, and that goes to show I respect you because I could say, you know, the bitch fat as fuck. No, she is gorgeous. She is beautiful. And I was just like, wow. And I'm just sitting there like, I literally was filming a whole bunch of stuff, but I got to decide whether or not I'm going to put it up. I'm not putting it up on YouTube, but I may put some shit up on um, Instagram later. I might flood that shit tomorrow. But the thing of the matter is, I'm so glad that I was standing and sitting where I uh, had a seat in, a, in the area where I did not have to really look at the screen. The only time that I had to look at the screen, really, was when she did resentment and... Um, Jigga went over there to the stage, the B stage, I guess if you want to call it that, because they performed Love on Top, Resentment, and, um, he did his rap verse. He did the second, because he do, um, Beach is Better, My Beach is Better. He do that twice, and the second time he did it, he did it on the B stage, and then he sat down, and he did his rap verse for the partition. Ski skied on the mat dress. Yes, bitch, look, look, the fact that... This is how it is. This is how it is. If you're going there to see Beyonce, bitch, you will enjoy Jay-Z. If you're going there just to see Jay-Z, you will enjoy Beyonce. And you will be singing the lyrics to all these songs as if you've been listening to this shit. Like, if you did not even know that you knew these lyrics to Jay-Z songs, you will be standing there like, bitch, I know this shit. I was sitting there like, because I'm a fan, okay? And I got all this shit. Every fucking song, public announcement, bitch. H to the Izzo, um, uh, uh, it's a hard, not like Big Pippin, 99 Powers, but a bitch ain't one, time for it, my nigga, fuck with me, you know I got, look, look, Bonnie and Clyde, when they open that shit up, 
the way that they transition from song to song, because that's what I was worried about. Like, when this shit, when I first heard that they was actually going on tour, and I was like, how the fuck are they going to do this? The shit flow, and yes, it does tell a story. It tell a story of their fucking relationship. At the beginning, everything is all good. Then we all gushy gushy, and then we go through our shit, and that's when, you know, song cry and, and, and resentment. Bitch. I'm going to get on resentment in a second. And then, you know, they going through their shit during that time. Okay? They having some issues. And somebody, I don't want to put it out there like this, but I'm going to say it. I got a feeling somebody did something to somebody, meaning somebody cheated on somebody. I'm not trying to say it, but that's what it felt like a little bit. You know, I could be delving into it, but I mean, somebody hurt somebody up in that relationship. But they worked that shit out because, you know, by the time Love on Top and all that shit got there and then Forever Young and Halo at the end, it just came back together saying that we are together and we are fucking good. These divorce rumors that people keep putting out there and the only reason why this shit been coming up about the divorce is because of that shit that happened in that fucking elevator. Bitch, who gives a shit? Okay, you ain't giving me nothing else. Um... I didn't see nothing saying that they was going to break up. And I know people can put on fronts and put on shows for their public or whatever. But, bitch, I was looking and I was seeing through. I was seeing through all the farce and all that shit. All the, you know, the lights, glitz, and glamour. I was like, this is fucking love right here. You could just tell. Like, they was just, throughout the whole show, every time they got up there, they didn't have to touch at certain moments. But they was just touching. And they was just... I said, look at this happy ass or whatever the fuck you want to say, couple. Bitch, y'all, I hate y'all. You know, y'all cute. Why? It was nice. I said, look at this shit. Y'all better just hug it out. Hug it out. You know, and the set, that set, I don't remember what fucking song. Oh, my God. When it looked like. Jay-Z was in a video game. It looked like Tron or whatever. The light, the white lighting of everything. It That shit was so fucking sickening to me. And um, when Beyonce got up there with her ass out on that pole that she did that thing, I said yes for Naughty Girl. And then they transitioned, I think, it's a Big Pimp. And the way that it went, it went so smooth. And the way that they, 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 they do it, it's just like, okay, I get how this flows together. And then, you know... Um, she did do Ring the Alarm. It's a couple of songs that I could have did without. You know, she did If I Was a Boy. I can't remember what song that Jay-Z did before If I Was a Boy, that transition. And I was like, why is she doing this? But after listening to If I, to his song, and then she sang If I Was a Boy, it was like, whatever song that he did before her, before she came out there, it was like his male version of If I Was a Boy. And it was just, it just flowed. And I said, okay, I get it now. But I'm going to be truly honest. I could care less for If I Was a Boy. Never really liked the song. I learned to tolerate it. I've gotten to the point where when it comes on shuffle or whatever, I won't skip it. I just go ahead and listen to it. Like I had to tell somebody, the only good thing about If I Was a Boy was the video. And the only good thing about that video really was when Beyonce was in the cop uniform. And I said, bitch. <laughs> You can arrest me any goddamn time, okay? Give me all the strikes. Search and everything. I won't tell. You know, spread them, bitch. Okay. But, um, hmm. I'm just saying. It is what it is. Let me be honest in this shit. So, they doing all this stuff. And, uh, I just know I was singing alone. I was... Rapping alone, I was up. Ashley don't dance, but I was just getting it in, bitch. And my head hurts so bad. <laughs> like I am so dry. I know I'm gonna be hung the fuck over. I just and I had eaten. It. I haven't eaten anything all day. If that's a word, I ain't eat all day. All right, I ate in the morning, like around today, Friday. I ate Thursday morning around 9 o'clock. And that was it. 
posted and I've been drinking all day. That is, that's not good. I know that. And I was, I'm probably dehydrated a little bit, but I've been drinking some water ever since I got back in the house. It's probably why my hair hurt. But, <laughs> bitch, it was worth it. Look, I starved myself for this bitch. You know, I know some of y'all like, bitch, you can miss a couple meals. But, you know, it is what it is. It's fucking worth it. All right. And, <laughs> My favorite performances was, why don't you love me? Tell me, baby, why don't you love me? Because I make it so damn easy to... Whenever she performs that, I fucking love it. And, you know, oh my God. When they did Upgrade You, that was cool. When they did uh, 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 Crazy in Love, you know, she was doing the twerk. And, of course, I was fine with that because the ass was all up in the face. But... When Jay was out there, I, see, I can't remember what he did, bitch. What the fuck song did he do? Ugh. It don't matter. It don't matter. Jay was out there, and he put on the motherfucking show. That's all they said. But when, because her transition and her, they, the way that they switched off, it was just so fucking simple and sickening. Um, Jay, uh, what's, what's her name? What's her name? Beyonce came out there in that hood, in that leather shit. Dominatrix looking shit just strapped the fuck up with zippers and everything. That bitch came out there so fucking hood for diva. And I said, go off, ho. You better do that shit. Look, she was so many bitches last night. It, it just, it just, mm. she did that shit. And then they did Baby Boy. I mean, she could have kept Baby Boy a little bit. She could have kept Baby Boy. Ring the Alarm was cute, but she could have kept that one too. And like I said, I really wasn't here for If I Was a Boy. But, you know, as soon as she finished If I Was a Boy, If I Was a Boy transitioned right into Lawrence Hill X Factor. And when I say she's saying that shit right, she's saying that shit right. And I was like, you, you, ooh, you do it. You do it. And you do it well. And, um... You know, resentment, oh, resentment. And I understand after looking at it because I try not to look at the performances, even though I've seen some of it, especially when resentment comes along. I, I just, I want to see that shit myself. She was singing her ass off and the, the emotion that she was putting into that song. I can understand why people take it and why these motherfuckers on the blogs take it and saying that, you know, Oh, something going on and feeling rumors about, you know, divorce and all that shit. But basically what she's saying is some shit probably did went down between them, like I said previously. And, you know, she was in her feelings and she had every fucking right. And like, I'm sitting there like, bitch, don't cry. Bitch, don't cry. Don't cry because you're going to make me want to cry. And I don't want to cry right now. Like, don't, don't cry. Because at one point I'm looking at her eyes like, girl... He really hurt you. He, he he really hurt you. You was really feeling it. And I really just wanted to get up there and give her a hug and say, it's going to be all right. Y'all made it through the storm. I hope you did. You know, I just, I just felt the way, you know. And I was just like, and then she smiled afterwards. And I said, wait a minute, bitch, what? Really? Are you acting? Because you, you know, you acting on this stage better than you acted in some of the shit that you've been in. I'm not trying to say nothing, but that's what it is. But, um, she really did that. And then when they did Love on Top, Love on Top, before she did Resentment, he did Song Cry, and then it transitioned into res Resentment. Mind you, she poured the Houdini act on our asses. He was on the stage, the main stage, doing song cry next thing you know the lights went out we like wait a minute what's going on beyonce is singing resentment all the way over here i said bitch how the fuck you get over there we ain't even see okay you know hey illuminati is something it's working it's working but um she got up there she did that shit and when he was doing resentment it was when she the the the, the screen like if you look at you gotta look at the show and you actually gotta look at the screen because you it's like you're looking at a goddamn movie I'm standing there the whole time like, oh, shit, what's going to happen next? Because I was really hurt. Like, I felt some type of way because when she was in the church doing song cry, she got shot. 
not once, but I think three times she got shot. And then, you know, it was just dripping. And I was like, oh my God, did she die? Who shot her? Jay, don't tell me you shot her accidentally. What the fuck is going on? In a wedding dress too? That's fucked up. You know, and I just felt so, like, like, I felt like, oh my God, why did she get shot? I just want to go up there and just stitch up your wounds and say it's going to be okay. You know, that's, that's, that's just how I was just dead in my feelings. Like, the whole damn time. It was like looking in a movie like I know these people. And I just felt some type of way. Like, ooh, I feel your pain. And, ooh, I feel your happiness. It just, it just, I don't know. I just went there. And, you know, she did Love on Top. ba 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 da ba 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 da Okay, look. It was fine at the beginning. And I was very much here for it. We all. And then all of a sudden, you know, because we all groove to it. Then all of a sudden, you know, I said, I want you back. I said, no, no, don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. They put them on, I want you back, Jackson 5 behind it and then kept singing uh low on top on top of that beat and i said you better pay homage to this shit you better put it out there i lost it right then and i said that is my shit y'all know i love jackson's i love jackson five michael jackson i love the music about it y'all just have no idea i am a music buff i got a whole bunch of music and i like that old shit too you know this new shit is just not really working for me but um Y'all gotta get to y'all music history because a lot of the stuff that's out now samples samples from these from these artists from back in the day, okay? And I just I just I was very much here for her doing it. And um the cutest part was at the end, you know, when they sing um Okay, they did sing Holy Grail, I like that. And um at the end when it was about to end. It was like die in love. They was having a screenplay and on the screen, you know, they wake up from the hotel and then they come out, somebody shooting to the hotel, there's helicopters, Beyonce going out there, him shooting at them with the, the AK forty seven or whatever fuck gun they had. And then Jay come out there shooting and shit. And then the motherfucking next thing you know, they get in the car and you all know how Bonnie and Clyde, you know, ended. They got shot up in the car. That's how Body and Clyde ended in real life. And so, I was like, wait a minute, what happened? Because, you know, she put her hand on the gear and then the hand dropped. And I said, wait a minute, no, no. And then they're going to say some die in love, live forever, some shit. I said, wait a minute. So, y'all died in the movie. I'm confused about what happened. And why did you have to end it like that? But then they made up for it because then they got up and they both went to the B stage. And that's when they were sitting there and they did... um. Forever Young, and um, when they were singing that, they had the movie playing in the background of, like, a whole bunch of clips of her, personal clips of her and him, and um, they also had a, a lot of clips of Blue Ivy, and it was just so pretty, so cute, and I was just like, oh... This review is it's not necessarily a review, it's just a return of what happened. I just say go and see the tour. Like it is everything. I wasn't expecting it to be like this and I wasn't expecting me to like it as much as I did, but bitch, I loved it. I don't have not one bad well, you know. One thing did happen. And this ain't even got nothing to do with the show. We, the show was almost over. They was like three more songs from it being over. And the person that was sitting in front of me with his girlfriend, first of all, they was fondling each other in front of us. And I was just like, oh, my God, you know, could you please get your hand from underneath us? Girl, like that. We trying to, you distracting us. Next thing I know, the dude, the black man, this was a white couple that was in front of me that was doing all this stuff. In front of him, in front of them was a black couple. The dude turned around and them two got into it. He was like, the black guy telling him, push my motherfucking chair one more time. I'm going to whoop your ass. Push my motherfucking chair. Keep on pushing my motherfucking chair. I said, oh, 
because he just kept getting louder and louder and louder with it. I said, please calm down because that white boy did not want it. And you could tell he did not want it. He was scared because as soon as they finished, and, and he was like, I ain't doing shit, dude. I ain't doing shit. It was an accident, whatever. He sat his ass down and didn't say nothing for the rest of the show. I said, damn, how you going to do that? Other than that, the show went off without a hitch. The only <laughs> other issue that we had, once again, we go somewhere and we fucking get lost. We got lost going back to the parking lot. We could have got out of there sooner, but, you know, we got lost. But we finally got up in there. And, you know, it, it took a minute to get out. Kind of knew that was going to happen. But other than that, everything went smoothly. And, like I said, if you plan on going or you have tickets to go, y'all going to enjoy yourself, okay? You ain't got to be the biggest Beyonce fan. You ain't got to be the biggest Jay-Z fan. Just be a fan of the music or know some of that shit, bitch. You going to go off whichever song come on. You going to fucking go off. Um... And, and, and it's like I said, it's not just a Beyonce show, okay? Jay-Z, he killed that motherfucking stage on his own. And I was very much here for everything that went on. Y'all, I'm in this because it's like 30 minutes. Why <laughs> it hurt. We'll see y'all later. Put your diamonds up, bitch. No, no. Take your ass to bed, ho. I am. I am.